Welcome back ladies and gents. Thank you for tuning in. Today we are going to be answering a few very common questions. Should you or should you not install the filter that is provided with the HKS blower valve? And for that matter, why does HKS provide you with a filter and other blower valve don't? Now, will installing this filter have any negative effects on your engine? or would not installing this filter have any issues in the future well make sure you stick around to the end of the video that way we can clear any misconception and all the misinformation that is out there now get on with the video to start engines have been one of the greatest inventions of all time matter of fact engines have been defined as internal control bombs where air and fuel combust to drive pistons and crankshafts and as we all know the more air we can get inside the engine, the more power we can make. Yet, this great system of combustion has one byproduct that is often overlooked. And this byproduct is called blow-by. You see, during combustion, high pressure on the top side of the piston pushes combustion gases as well as droplets of oil and fuel past the piston rings and into the crankcase. This mixture of gases, oil and fuel is known as blow-by. Now, to keep the crankcase from becoming pressurized, causing any issues or robbing any power from the engine, blow-by is pulled from the crankcase and then rerouted back into the intake. This is done by a well-known system called the Positive Crankcase Ventilation System, more famously known as the PCV system. The positive crankcase ventilation system uses a PVC valve which uses the engine's vacuum to pull the air from the crankcase and relocate it back into the manifold. And that's what your PVC valve does. Now, being that your blow valve is attached to a vacuum line, those combustion gases full of droplets of oil and gas will also be able to damage your blow valve in the future okay here as you can see one of the vacuum lines that has no filter and you see how it has oil so this is one of the reasons why you need a filter so that way you protect your blow valve as you can see it has a whole bunch of oil Now blow-by can definitely have a negative effect on your engine by having that extra oil stick to the valves and to other internal components and by having that extra oil in there it gets it really extra sticky and as we all know engines produce carbon buildup so this carbon buildup is actually increased with blow by. The more miles your car has, the more wear and tear your engine has. This means that the amount of oil, vapor, and gases will increase too, therefore increasing the possible damage of your engine even further. You see, pistons are sealed tight to the walls of the cylinders by piston rings. With increased wear and tear on the piston rings, over time, it will allow more blow-by to pass by. In the following frame, I will show you a prime example of this happening to a 2005 Dodge Ram Cummins. to warm up. 
Look at that. You can see the plume now. Amazing. Now, although this is a complete different topic, and since we have pointed out how much damage can blow by cows to your engine and its internal parts, I will point something out that you can do in order to reduce the amount of blow by, and that is to install an oil catch can. Matter of fact, if your engine is a GDI, meaning a gasoline direct injection engine, having an old cash can is a must. And what is an old cash can? Exactly what it says. It catches the oil from that blow by that we have been talking all along. What it does, it is actually in the middle. So once the blow by is taken from the crankcase and then routed back into the manifold, before it goes back into the intake manifold, it goes through this oil cash can, filters that blow by air, which means the combustion gases, the oil and gasoline droplets that is in that air, filters that, and then is routed into the intake manifold, meaning that it will keep a much cleaner air and reduce everything that we have been talking about. Now, we are going to talk a little bit more about this filter that is provided with the HKS blow off valve. This filter would not only protect the internal components of your blow off valve from oil vapors that can travel through the vacuum line, but it can also filter harmful vapors entering your gauges or boost controller solenoids if you happen to have one. Now, take into account that this vacuum filter will also need to be replaced every so often just like any other filter in your car now if you have an HKS blow valve let me know what you think are you running or using the vacuum filter that is provided with this HKS blow valve or not also let me know how long have you been running your setup and how well is it doing lastly let me know of any crazy experiences that you may have had. Not only I would love to hear it, but I'm pretty sure anybody that ends up watching this video would love to know. Now, make sure you hit the like button if you like the content of this video, and make sure to subscribe for more automotive tips, tricks, DIYs, and N54 content. Once again, thank you for watching. See you in the next.